LDS Article of Faith number seven says, we believe in the gift of tongues, prophecy, revelation, visions, healings, interpretation of tongues, and so forth. But you see, the Bible demonstrates that these spiritual gifts have ceased in a normative sense when the last apostle died. Not only were these signs and wonders to expand the gospel like wildfire in a pagan Roman empire, but in Acts chapter two on the day of Pentecost, Peter quotes from Joel two, showing that these signs will come before the destruction of Jerusalem in AD 70. The office of apostle has ceased, my friends. Paul called himself the last appointed apostle in 1 Corinthians 15, and James, the brother of John and the son of Zebedee was never replaced after his death in the book of Acts. You see, the Mormon church needs the apostolic gifts to continue in an unbiblical way so as to keep giving false revelation from a false prophet. The truth is, miracles like these are rare but still possible today, but you certainly don't see them coming from an organization that preaches the gospel contrary to that of Jesus Christ.